Welcome to another edition of Aya Food School. I'm Jamie, and today we're going to talk about some awesome uses for some orange peels. So I have a few things here on my counter. I have a, a little saucepan with some water in it, some cinnamon sticks, and I have some vinegar, a spray bottle, and a mason jar. And so let's just get right into it. This isn't going to take very long. It's just a few things. And maybe you know, and maybe you didn't um, know about some of these uses, but I'm going to share them with you just the same because again, tis the season. All right. So <clears throat> this is good for any style of orange too. Uh, let's say like Mandarin, cutie pies, Valencia, however it is for you. Um, so we're just going to cut the orange cut it off the ends and we're going to cut right in the middle. Let's see if this little thing works here. <clears throat> and then you can segment them very easily. Like so right on the segments. So that's a cool little nifty way to cut your oranges, but what we're really concerned about here is the practical use of orange peels. So I'm going to divide these peels up and put some in my water and I'm going to take these segments out. Oh, I hate to use, lose that juice, I like fresh orange juice. Good for your mimosas <laughs> in the morning, what have you. Oh, one real cute thing that you may not know, or you may, about the rind of orange peels. You can rub them on your teeth as a temporary whitener. Who knew? And let's say you have like stainless steel appliances as in your refrigerator or even your stovetop. You can rub them on your metal surfaces to get a nice shine or patina on your metal surfaces. So it's a cleaner. You can do this ahead of time if you're gonna have like a dinner party or something or if you know you're cooking fish <laughs> or something kind of smelly, um, what you want to do is grab your cinnamon stick. Again, you have a pot with some water, just about two cups in there. Throw your cinnamon stick and your orange peels and put that on the stove top. Bring it to a boil <clears throat> and then let it simmer adding water as necessary. Let that simmer and your house will smell quite festive. And of course, if it's too pungent, just put a lid on it, let it cool down, and then bring it to your compost pile. So I'm gonna put that on the stove, put that on the stove for a while. Get my house smelling really good. And now with my jar of vinegar here. Have my orange peels in there. Shake that up. Let them suckers get in there. <clears throat> you could top it off. I might as well. Eh? So with this awesome little concoction here, straight orange peels, vinegar. I'm going to let that sit probably under my kitchen sink for about two weeks. And then I will pour the solution in the spray bottle. It's great for eliminating bugs, ants in particular, it's non-toxic and it can clean, it's a great cleaner. You can clean your countertops, you can clean your bathroom and, and not have to worry about 
any type of toxicity happening in your area, especially where you're serving food. Enjoy this day and I hope it's very abundant for you and enjoy who you are as you are. And thanks again for tuning in. Have a great one. Bye-bye.